I'll do this again now. Okay, so it's a constant pressure process, isobaric process. P atmospheres, volume liters. So it expands from 10 liters. If the rise in temperature is and heat are added in the process, what's the final volume? Okay, so let's see. Okay, delta E equal to Q minus W. And the final volume, V final. Okay. So... All right, delta E. Uh, okay, so here is a delta E is N C V delta T. C V is for this diatomic gas is five five halves R delta T. So we know N we we know N we know R we know delta T. So we know this, we know that work done is P times V final minus V initial. Okay. So what we're saying here, so here is a N five halves R delta T equal to Q minus W. This is an isochoric process. This is an isochoric process, isobaric process. So work done is P times V final minus V initial. Okay, so here's how we're going to solve it. We know V initial, v, v final is the only unknown in this equation. Okay. So we'll calculate that. All right. Um, so let's do delta E one at, one at a time. Delta E is NCV delta T, two moles, times 5 halves R, 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin. Delta T is 10 Kelvin. All right. <clears throat> oh, one mole. Sorry, not two moles. One mole. All right, so 2.5 into 8.314 into 10. So the increase in energy is 208 joules. Q minus delta E equal to 400 joules minus 208 joules equal to. That's how much work was done. And the work done is P times V final minus V initial. Oh, I have one more problem to do. Shoot, this is crazy. <sighs> okay, so the work done, 192 joules is two atmospheres. V final minus 10 liters. Okay. So, uh, this gives us 192 joules is this times that is 200 so 200 times V final minus 10 liters so V final will come out in liters 
So this is 192. Uh, well, we'll just divide that by 200. How's that? <clears throat> 192 by 200 equal to V final minus 10 liters. So the final volume is that. Okay. All right. Let me sum. Um. So <clears throat> I, there's some something wrong with this problem because. Um, what was the if you mm. assume that um, mm -hmm. CV is equal to CV is equal to seven halves, and then you add your R to get uh, CP of nine halves. Mm -hmm. It comes down to one mole in the equation that you did. So it does. No, no, no. So CV I assumed is five halves R. It's a diatomic molecule. Okay, so if you're assuming. Okay, I know. Yeah. Assumed it's seven halves, so it works out to be one mole. So I guess there is something wrong. There is. Yeah. yeah. So there's something in, inconsistent about it. It's a free book. All right. So 